Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from Selma, where the sun-made growers of California held their winter seminar. Here, Anil Shreshta, a professor of Fresno State, explained the importance of integrated weed management and how to keep our herbicide treatments effective in California. Because we have millions of years of history of weed seeds being in the soil, so we're not going to eradicate them. So we have to learn how to manage them and keep them at levels where they don't really cause damage to our crops. So integrated weed management doesn't really talk about eradication of weeds. It's just a systems approach where you use different selection pressures. Integrated weed management means uh, the use of many different control tactics, including herbicides. So it can, uh, it can include uh, physical weed control, mechanical weed control, cultural weed control, biological weed control, and also chemical weed control. But the main emphasis is not relying on one of these methods entirely. So if, even if you decide to go just with herbicides or chemical weed management, the idea is to rotate the different herbicide families, use tank mixes so that you do not select for resistant weeds. Now, uh, you can also get weeds that are adapted to uh, mechanical weed control methods. For example, if you use a more, you might get weeds that are grasses that are adapted to uh, mowing. If you use a shallow cultivator, you'll also get weeds that are adapted to shallow cultivation and that are primarily grasses. So even with the mechanical tools, it's better to rotate the tools. And uh, the best thing you want to do is look at the types of weed species you have, because the success of many of these tools depends on the types of weed species you have. Some species are more susceptible to cultivation. Uh, some species are like uh, susceptible to herbicides, and, uh, not quite susceptible to other methods. So the idea is to go out, monitor, see what you have, and also see the level of success you've had with the different uh, tools. If you have had good control of weeds with uh, a certain herbicide and over the years you see escapes more and more of uh, those weeds now escaping the treatment you may have selected for resistance so it's about time that you change your mode of action or herbicide family or just collect some seeds and send it to us, people like us who so do resistance confirmation studies to make sure that they are really resistant and not surviving the site because of uh, misapplications. So uh, uh, the other emphasis I want to make in integrated weed management is not to let the weeds set seeds because uh, weed seeds uh, can live in the soil for a long, long time, sometimes even more than 50 years, and one single plant can produce up to a million seeds. So uh, it can be a huge contribution to the weed seed bank. So. Again, integrated weed management is being re-emphasized because of all the resistant weeds we've had out there. And it's time to revisit our weed management systems and not just rely on one particular tool for weed control. Thank you, Anil. Learn more about his presentation in the coming issue of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.